Cheers, everybody. It's Eric. I'm back. I have a pressure transfer system set up. I have a gas inlet to my uh, spidal fermenter. And uh, of course, I have a filter to pick up any hop debris going into my keg. But uh, I am transferring. It's actually less than that. I don't know why it's higher. It's like a, a pound. And uh, what I'm going to do is as I'm transferring, I just I just give it a little, little bit of CO2. And uh, that's how I'm transferring from uh, fermenter to keg, keeping that O2 out of there. That's the plan anyway. But uh, yeah, this little fitting right here I purchased from brewhardware.com. It's got a seal, O-ring, and all that on it. And uh, I just drilled a hole to the size, and I don't know the exact size, I, I can't remember, but I made it good and tight so it fit. And these, these fermenters hold good pressure anyway. But uh, yeah, that's my um, CO2 transfer system that I had set up. Going, going like clockwork. And um, this is a bouncer filter. It's actually made for beer. And uh, you can run temperature, higher temperature through this thing. I think it's uh, 160 degrees, somewhere in that range. But you got different filters that you can uh, use. This is the coarse filter, and uh, I'm using the fine filter for it. I believe I got this off of Amazon for about uh, 20 bucks. And it's great for picking up uh, hop debris and that kind of stuff. If you've ever had your keg, your beer line plugged up with hops, yeah, that, that, that really sucks. So that's why I got that filter. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bump there. Make sure I keep my transfer going. And then as I get towards the end, I'll go ahead and uh, back off on the pressure. Come in just under six gallons. This is a little IPA that I did, my, my IPA. And um, always leave about a half a gallon to a gallon in the bottom of it just to pick up that troop because I do not want it in my beer. But yeah, that's, that's my little CO2 pressure transfer system. A little fitting right there cost me right at $20. A little less from Brew Hardware, Bobby, Brew Hardware. And uh, he's got a lot of really cool stuff. So if, um, if you've never been there, check out brewhardware.com. Bobby's got some cool stuff. Really, uh, really great, great setup he's got. He comes up with some really good solutions and great ideas. So anyway, this is Eric. I just wanted to show this real quick while I was racking this uh, IPA to a keg and grab my... Uh, camera real quick and said let's do this please give me a thumbs up subscribe don't forget about that subscribing and thumbs up stuff and um, any comments put them down below always look for them comments love them thanks for watching and uh, appreciate it this is Eric cheers